Give you paperwork in here that day, that same day, that, that last time that you were in here that said you dropped off to. No, you told me. No, I you told me I had to get out of here. Ma'am. No, you didn't give me bullshit except I, the I day didn't give that you, I was I in here. I didn't give you a printout of our, from our yes. system that showed when you dropped yes. the computer off. That's good. That's good. See, that's what I'm saying. That's how you deal with that. Hey, but if you gave her a printout of it, wouldn't you have a copy? Yes, you sir. don't keep it. Well, let's see. Let's see. I, I've We're not giving you anything. Well. You don't have anything. You don't have dipshits if y'all screw Do you have the claim ticket from where it was originally we'll dropped off? It. We'll find it. Find it. it. Produce well, that's it. What we, that's what we originally asked for, and it couldn't be produced. There are a lot of people. There is just a general trend in society of people trying to screw other people over more and more and it it's upsetting but there are individuals that aren't like that and each person is a whole bundle of experiences and behaviors and you know it's just a big complex web of things that come together and conglomerate into one human being everybody's very different from everybody else that lady the next person who comes up behind her is not her they probably won't ask me for a cash discount. They'll probably, like most of my customers, have a general level of respect. Most of the people that come here don't are not disrespectful to me. It's pretty rare that I have a problem with a customer. Um, the kind of people who would pull up to this place in the first place and get word of mouth, telling them they should, typically not problematic. Um, but yeah, when you deal with the general public, sometimes you get the weirdos. Sometimes you get the people that are looking for a deal and and I don't like that. I don't like those people. I don't like the way that they behave. I don't like the idea that they're going to consistently in the future every time I do something for them attempt to find something wrong with my work even if it's not wrong with my work so that they can go, well I found this that was not completely satisfactory. Can I have a discount? Well what does that mean? What are the, what are the, what is this going to result in? Okay, <clears throat> so I give you a discount to appease you because you feel like I didn't do a good job. First of all, giving you the discount is effectively an admission that I didn't do a good job. That can actually open you up to legal liability, believe it or not. And if you if you give someone a conciliatory discount or item or whatever, you're admitting to wrongdoing through giving the item. And if someone took you to court, they can actually sue you and say the fact that they gave me this is an implicit admission of guilt. And that's something that I actually learned a long time ago. I had a, a really weird customer that was trying to get us, basically trying to like randomly bully us into buying a computer for them for free. And it was like, you know, one of the guys is a pushover and... You know, it was really weird, but eventually it was like they got someone to agree to, like, buy a computer for them or something. And I did some research and talked to some people and figured out that this kind of situation, if you, if you buy this computer because someone comes up and says that they've been previously unhappy with your service or whatever, that you go from a batshit crazy person who is just, off their rails um, trying to get things out of people through illegitimate means. You go from a crazy person spouting nonsense to a person who now, in the eyes of any sort of court, any sort of authority, now can point to something that you did and say, look, I'm not crazy. They gave me this. So that means they agree with the premise under which they decided to give it to me. That means they agree that they did something wrong to me, and this was their attempt to somehow right that wrong. It's not good enough. I want more. So think about that for a minute. This is why, in general, giving people discounts... Um, can be bad and backfire very fucking hard on you because you are effectively... If you give someone a discount for like being a frequent customer, that's one thing. If you're giving someone a discount that's like a conciliatory thing where they've asked for a discount <clears throat> under a negative premise, you open yourself up to liability. You, f you are f fucking yourself so hard. 
So, no. I hate people. I hate people because people, in general, there there are a bunch of people that think that it's okay to do stuff like that. That think it's okay to come in here and disrespect my work, then ask me to take a pay cut because they're dicks. No. No, I will not. You can leave. You can drive away, not get me to work on your stuff, go to the other guy across town, <clears throat> go have him fix your fucking computer. Have him do it. Have him give in and, and, and give you the fucking discount that you don't deserve, but that you're demanding. I spilled my coffee because I'm so mad. Mm. Yeah. You know what? You're a shitty customer. Go to the guy across town. I send all my shitty customers to my competition. My competition would love to have you as a customer. My competition wants to go out of business. My competition wants to concede and give themselves a pay cut. You know, if they're smart, they won't. But hey, I'll tell you that because you're a bad customer. You're the kind of person who will make me <clears throat> cut my pay by 10, 20, 30 percent this time. And then the next time you come in, what are you going to do? Oh, well, this guy's a pushover. I know that we can get over on them. So let's make an even bigger stink. Oh, maybe we can get 50% off this time. And then what happens the next time? Oh, I am so super pissed. I'm going to make a big fucking scene at your place of work, at your business, in front of your other customers, talk about how wrong you done me, and then demand that you give me a full refund or give me free shit. Just to shut me up. And guess what? I'm not going to stop coming back. Once you give in to these fucking people, they keep coming back. They don't stop. Okay, we're recording this just for our records. This is the crazy lady that walked in and threw her laptop on the ground when we would not fix our CD burner for free. He doesn't even mention the prices. He just says we'll replace it. She gets royally pissed. And here it goes. <laughs> she thinks about picking it up, sees how broke it is, and just storms off. Luckily, her child didn't get injured in this process. Let's rewind it and see the detail. Yeah, it's about as funny as not. All right, here's a close-up of her lifting it up and sending it packing. And that's the end of the laptop. And that's the problem is once they once they realize they can get something that they don't deserve out of you, they come back. They tell other people what they did and brag about it. Those people come back. You end up breeding like these psycho customers. So what you do is you make it very clear from the beginning when they try to edge in on your boundaries that this is all you have for that kind of nonsense. You chase off all the trashy customers and they don't want to deal with you because that guy, he's not going to give in. He's not going to give me a discount. He's not going to do the work for free. I can't get free shit I don't deserve out of him. He's a waste of time. And they might even tell their shitty friends that, no, nah, don't go to that guy. Nah, he, nah, he no good. Because we had some customers like that a long time ago, decade ago. We had customers coming in like that. We had all of the broke ass, bad attitude, poor for a very good reason, or set of reasons, trashy people coming in. Tons of them. Like, they would pop up all the time. And the problem is, they're good at bullying and um, pity party, you know, wah wah story, bad behavior in general to get other people to do what they want. Wealth extraction. They're really fucking good at it. Guilting you. Bullying. It doesn't matter. There's all these ways that you can convince other people to be separated from their shit. And they would do it all the time. And the problem is, most computer people don't deal that well with that kind of confrontation. So they'll often give in just so they don't have to deal with the stressor anymore. And I was one of those people it took a while for me to learn the game. You know, I, at one point, everyone who starts a business is a newbie when they start the business. And as I got used to this retail thing instead of what I had been doing, where I had um, 
I had previously been going out to people's homes when they called to have me come out. When I changed from that to a retail location anybody could walk up to, I started getting these people, and I didn't know how to deal with them. Neither did the people who worked for me. When I started to figure it out um, that you need to cultivate your customer base and that if you let these people basically get priority because they're loud and obnoxious and demand that you do work faster for less money and they cause you more and more trouble and chase off your other customers. Yeah, I shut that shit down. I shut that shit down quick. I'm not dealing with those people. And I taught my people, you shut that shit down quick. If somebody tries to demand something of you, your first instinct needs to be to tell them, please leave, take your business elsewhere. Your second instinct needs to be, please leave, take your business elsewhere. The first rule of computer repair is, you do not fuck with me when I'm going to do computer repair for you. The second rule of computer repair, you get where this is going. So, no, don't put up with that shit. Anyway, and all of this, this, uh, this whole tangent stems from some woman asking if she can get a cash discount. Because that's where this goes. That's where you end up. You cannot be a people pleaser. If you're a people pleasing personality, you need to get the fuck out of it right now. If you don't set boundaries, then, there, then you don't have boundaries. And if you don't have boundaries, no one respects you, and everyone takes from you until you have nothing. Then you become Elliot Rogers. You go shoot up a bunch of people. You know, then you do something really reprehensible because you're at the end of your fucking rope. You have nothing. You have nothing left to live for. You have no reason not to just lash out at the world before you take yourself out. That's how you end up there. People will actually respect you more if you tell them no. And if they don't respect you when you tell them no, then you show them the door. And if they don't leave, you grab the motherfucking shoulders and you shove them out the door and let them land on their fucking face.